welcome back to my channel Seka Fit, Seka Fit. hope everybody is doing well to all my subscribers thank you thank you thank you and if you're new to this channel welcome darling so guys today I am talking about you already read the title so you know um, my scoliosis story now I watch a couple of videos on YouTube and I decided to do my take on this video as well because it's something that you're living with is something that's that's a part of me and I think like obviously you can know like it's an easy like I don't see anything about like sharing the story because it might be you know a source of like encouragement to somebody now for those of you who don't know what scoliosis is it's a curvature of your spine as far as for a cause they've not yet like I don't know exactly what causes scoliosis they're saying it's genetics for sure so it probably runs in your family or it could be caused by an injury it could be you know it could it could be caused by an injury it could be genetics um it's usually discovered in teens it's usually discovered in your early teens because i guess your family your people notice that you are somewhat not straight when you walk when you move and whatnot so for me personally I got to know that I have scoliosis. I got to know that I had scoliosis around the age of 13 or 14, thereabouts. I can't remember exact age, but it was early teens. But at that time, I was back home in Dominica. And as far as treatment was concerned, there isn't any specialist in scoliosis back home or any center, scoliosis center, or anything like that. As soon as my auntie, so my aunt and nurse, she actually noticed that, you know, I wasn't straight the way i walked and they were like telling me like fix myself or like hold myself differently i'm like how do i do that to me i'm normal and they brought me in for an x-ray and that's when they saw my curve was like a c so i never bothered about it um the doctor just advised me do not carry load you know a whole set of things to avoid back pain and whatnot and for couple for the for the first couple of years to be quite honest with you my back was not bothering me i was still very active in school so i played netball and i still like did all sorts of like i i still danced in church i'm still a dancer to this day it will never stop dancing um so i was very active you know i was always on the go i played sports volleyball netball and so forth so my back i never let my back hold me down even though i knew there was like certain restrictions i still did what i love doing you know um in the latter end here like maybe like when i was around 20 19 20 ish going about the 21 ish i started getting back pains now i didn't understand like i just felt like okay it's probably because i'm doing too much or because my back is probably just just like you know affecting me because i i used to teach back then so i probably i say okay it's probably walking up and down of the steps because we have lots of steps in the high school back home so i said probably it's because of that you know i was just like brushing it off either way i started you know lying flat you know to avoid the pain and all of that time passed on by and the pain just got worse until like summer here i i just started getting a lot of pains in my back and i decided you know what to check up on on my back because i know okay i have scoliosis and i don't know why am i getting terrible back pains like it's probably because something is happening to my back and lo and behold when i went and check it my curve progressed so i was no longer a c curve i was now like an s and i'm now almost 40 degrees in one end and then 28 above so my back was sort of like twisting and hearing that news was not easy to be quite honest with you it was very to me it did not come at the right time i had a lot of in school stress in school and then my back to tell me my back is not doing well or that i need to get treatment as soon as possible was just not good news and for those of you for, for people who don't know the treatment for scoliosis is that it's therapy there are machines that can essentially pull you back into alignment and then you do exercises and things and you also go on a brace and if after all of that your curve is still progressing and it passes like 45 degree into the 50 degree area then they're gonna recommend surgery surgery is very risky because it's obvious your spinal cord there's risk of paralysis there's risk so many risks involved with that surgery 
so being so close to 45 degrees in that range like to be quite honest with you i just wanted to start treatment as soon as possible and so i am legit on a break from school and i decide this week i'm just gonna take this week and get my back checked out get my back start my treatment so i'm starting i've already started treatment this is day two of my treatment and you're seeing people be using the same clothes as in the previous videos because to be quite honest with you i mean i'm talking here but my back is so sore like my back is very very sore the exercises all the movements all the stretching of of pulling me this way one thing pulling me that way have my back rather very sore i just have a little strength to film this video and i'm just doing it people sometimes make fun of people because they normally start you on the brace as a teenager and so here are these children these very young children for example that are in school and they have to be wearing this brace and some people laugh or some people make funny comments or look at them funny i mean like nobody chooses to be born the way they are you know you you're born this way and it is what it is i'm not gonna like be somewhat you know making fun of people because people have you know what they're dealing with everybody have what they're dealing with and you just sometimes people just need to be a little bit more sensitive to these things and i understand bracing and to everybody out there who's ever worn a school use this brace like i respect you like i respect you i have to wear my brace for 16 to 20 hours a day and that thing is not easy that thing is not nice you know let me show you guys my brace because i already got it so this is my scoliosis brace i chose this color but this is actually coconut trees i don't know if you can see it but coconut trees obviously reminds me of the caribbean dominica i was raised next to the beach and so i took this I took this color because it just reminded me of home but I hope you can hear that this material is hard plastic when this thing is on you it restricts your movement and so a brace is not meant to fix you it's meant to stop you from progressing further stop you from stop your spinal cord from moving um, this thing is so uncomfortable it's not even i don't even know what to tell you this thing is uncomfortable as uncomfortable can be at the front it's fine because it's just like this fat on you it's taking up your whole back you know and you have to wear this for most of the day and to be quite honest with you if somebody hits me they're gonna break their hands if i bounce on a wall I'm flying right back this thing is hard plastic no joke plastic coliosis when it gets bad and when it gets bad like over 60 degrees and so forth can affect your breathing essentially it's blocking your like your your rib cage is coming to the front it's just a mess it's a mess it can get really messy okay it can lead to paralysis it could lead to breathing issues like you might not be able to walk and it's so it's just bad at this point I'm hopeful at this point I trust God I do not take things as if they're not meant to they don't have a purpose if you know what I mean everything happens for a reason and I'm just trusting God for the process and if there's anybody out there that probably you're starting your brace right now like me don't feel like as though you know you're not normal or everybody else is normal and you're not normal like take hope and take take courage and just go just just like go through it i have to wear this thing for an entire year i don't know how long you have to do yours um because of i'm already like 26 oh oops you know my age now <laughs> i'm already in the in the range of of not growing anymore so that's why i don't have to wear it for more than a year but i know that there are people who have worn these things for like probably two years three years or all through their teenage years you know so i just want to tell you i'm gonna keep you in press just as you keep me in press but that's the process i'm in right now and that's what i'm dealing with right now um i take courage to this video with 
my back is still so sore from all the sessions so I know what you're feeling and if you're doing if you're gonna start your brace right now all the best with that let me know let me know below about your scoliosis journey I've watched so many videos and people have had started the brace and it ended up in surgery which sucks you know I don't setting my mind on surgery to be quite honest with you I'm just setting my mind on getting better but if your scoliosis story ended up in surgery it's fine like comment down below and let me know let me know some tips and tricks about this brace because I'm new to this brace thingy and I, hmm, I don't know anything about how to even begin to slide on with it bend on with it sit up with it so that would be interesting I probably will post a follow-up video on me having this brace and how I get things done or how all my dressing is gonna change because I have to wear it, you know. But guys, either way, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something and probably you know somebody with scoliosis and now you will respect them because the pain that comes with scoliosis, the chronic back pains, nobody understands. Nobody understands. Like sometimes Somebody would say the back is hurting them and I'm just like my back is hurting me from the inside My back is shocking me. I'm getting shocks in my back. My back is The pain is just a lot and only somebody with scoliosis that can know the extent to the pains The extent the pains can go, you know, so guys either way I hope that you enjoyed this video probably I said something that you know you want to just leave down your story I would be so delighted to hear your stories so delighted to hear how was it wearing a brace tips and tricks just please comment down below and let me know but that is just my scoliosis story and I definitely will give you an update as to how I'm doing with this brace if you guys like just let me know but thank you guys so much for watching once more. Catch you on the next one.